shepherd of a soul, shepherd of a soul, savior of a soul, lover of a soul. We are on the lost side. Our most holy Father, our most holy God, we thank you, we bless you, we worship you, and we exalt your name. We thank you, O God, for your mercy. Your mercy has set us us to again this morning. Your grace has found us after again this morning. Father, as I just have ever prayed, many people set alarm, O God, to wake up this morning. The alarm has been ringing and ringing and ringing. They can never hear again. But here we are, O God, you woke us up this morning to your glory. Jesus, we are here to hear from you. Speak to us, O God, in the language we understand. Father, so talk to us, O God, that we may not be wayward in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I surrender myself to you. Use me again this morning to your glory. To the end, that your name will be forever be glorified. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, because I know you always do it. And you are doing it again this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Uh, Amen. Brother, the message this morning is not a message you have not heard before. I don't even think there's any message you have not heard in this ministry. Just to remind you of what is happening. Rather, just to remind us of what is going on and what we should place our hearts onto. Brother, this morning, the message is titled Understanding Times and Days. Understanding Times and Days. But then, if you want to live a joyful Christian life, if you want to live uh, a joyful Christian life and a, a happy life on earth here and next to heaven, you must be aware of the time that we are. You must be able to study the time and the season. You must be, able, you must be as somebody who is very vigilant and watchful so that you will not walk into hell unknowingly. So that you will not happily walk into hell. So the Lord is admonishing you and I this morning. My children, what at the times? If I should ask somebody now, what is the time? This time right now. They will tell me it's past five, it's past six, it's past two, compared to where you are, your, the country you are. But if I also ask you, what time are we? In the event of life, some people may not know why because we are not watchful. Because you are not watchful, you are gradually walking into hell. This morning, the Bible is telling us in Second Chronicles, I mean First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. You don't mind my voice, first Chronicles 12, 32. And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the time. Which we are men that have understanding of the time to know what Israel ought to do. The children of Issachar, the, the tribe of the Issachar, they were people who understand the time. They read the time to know what the Israel ought to do. Many children of God today, they are just living, they break, they go again, they don't know what to do. The Bible says, the, the heads of them were 200, and their brethren were at their own command. Their brethren were at their own command because they know what to do. Many children of God are just living without knowing they are left or the right. They don't know, they don't know the season that we are at right now. 
That's why you still see people who say they are born again. They will die and go to hell. Because you know why? They never know what to do. Because they never know the season that we are. They never know what the time was saying. But I pray the Lord will grant us better understanding of this message this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, oh, 5, 10 to 17. For all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doth make manifest is light. 14. Therefore, he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give the light. See, see then, he walked circumspectly, not as fools, but as but as wise. Redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Children of God don't understand what the days we are right now. We are in the evil days. Where evil are being celebrated. Where when you are good, you'll be condemned. But when you are a person who does evil, you will be celebrated. You know why? Because the time of his coming is now. The, event, the time we are now is the time of the coming of the Son of Man. If you are not careful, he will come and go, you will still be here. So for you not to be here, be watchful. So see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools. The Bible knows that the truth, most children of God, they are working foolishly. They are working stupidly. They don't know what they are doing. They are still living the life of yesterday. But be wise, be watchful, redeem the time. Don't walk behind the time. Walk along with the time. Praise Master Jesus. Because the days are evil. Verse 17. Therefore, be ye not unwise. Be ye not unwise. But understanding what the Lord will. Understanding what the will of the Lord is. Understanding what the will of the Lord is. What is the will of the Lord? The will of the Lord is that we should be holy. That we should serve Him with all our heart. That we should run away from sin. You know why? Because no sinner will be raptured on the day. We are in the hour of rapture. We are in the time of rapture, the circles of rapture. Let us be wise and follow the time we are. The time we are now in the, in the calendar of God, in the time of most holiness and righteousness. In the time that you hate sin, in the time to live holily and righteously every second. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible told us in Psalm 90, verse 12. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our heart unto wisdom. It is appalling to understand that Christians will read this Bible verse and start acting foolishly. What do I mean? Then he says, Lord, teach us to number our days that we may apply our heart unto wisdom. But today, so people here, Father, teach us to know about the day so that I will gather every body to my heart and start eating fried rice in the name of celebrating birthday. This is not the time to gather to eat and to drink. It is the time to gather in solemn assembly. Teach us to know about our day that we may apply ourselves to wisdom, to know to fear you, Lord, to know what we should do. To live solemnly, to live soberly, it's time to work at our salvation with fear. It is the time to gather people and start eating and drinking. The Bible says so it was in the days of Noah. They were eating and drinking, and all of a sudden, the flood washed them away. Let us be wise, children of God. David placed his head. He waits them every time to know what to do at that time today. David is enjoying his life in heaven. 
the third will add is the type of sober reflection, the type of watchfulness, the type of running away from sin. It's not time to eat and drink now. The time to eat and drink is coming, and you will be there in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Apply your heart unto wisdom. The Bible told us, walk in wisdom toward those that are without redeeming the time. Colossians 4 verse 5. Walk in wisdom, my people. Walk, how can you walk in wisdom? Walking in wisdom means walking in the fear of the Lord. Remember, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Not crafty wisdom, man. Not the wisdom of the world. Tell me a wise man. I will show, show me a wise man. I will show you a man that fear the Lord. It's time to walk in the fear of the Lord. With them that are without redeeming the time, the time of waiting, the time of living anyhow is over. Verse six. Let your speech be always, let your speech be always with grace, seize with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. It's time of carefully calculating speaking. Before you say anything, calculate because at your speaking, rapture might take place. And that word in your mouth will be used against you or for you. It's not the time to speak anyhow. It's not the time to speak because I want people to hear me speaking. No, every word you say is being recorded somewhere. You will be justified by your word or be condemned by your word. So, let every word we say this time around, it time we honor, it is time to speak wisely. Act wisely. Eat wisely. Sleep wisely. You know why? Because it can happen at any time. The Bible told us it's time to walk. Because a time is coming, you cannot walk anymore. A time is coming, even if you are walking, nobody cares about your walk again. Let us do our work horribly now. Whatever the Lord has placed your hands, do it as if the next circus will not come. You know why? Because if you refuse to do it now, and the day pass you by, you will still do it, but nobody cares about what you are doing anymore. The Bible told us, even when Christ was on earth, in the three years of his ministry, he, he did everything horribly, perfectly, and led his word. John 9, verse 4. I must, wherever you are hearing me, say to yourself, I must, I must walk the walk of him that sent me. I must, the man where must walk the walk of him that sent me. There is a timetable he has given me. There are people I must talk to before I leave this world or before he comes. I must be watchful and calculative to make sure I am up and doing in the work you have sent me. Why? For the night coming when no man can walk. You cannot do the work again in the grave. And if you happen to die and go to hell, you will still do it here. That is the painful thing. You will still do the work in hell, but nobody cares anymore. As I will always tell us, in hell right now, people are saying, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. But when they were hurt, you tell them repent, they will fight you. They never knew they themselves were evangelists. They themselves were pastors. But they refused to be born again on earth. But when they got to hell, the demons reminded them what they ought to have been. And from that moment, we were told they begin to preach the word of God in hell. That will not be a portion in the name of Jesus Christ. And Amen. To redeem the time now. Redeem the time now. Don't walk behind the time. Walk pari pasu with the time. It's time to add, Lord, this minute, what do I do? The time of being a man of yourself is over. The time of being a woman of is over. This is the time of total submission to the Lord. 
to the submission to the Holy Spirit, or else you will be left behind. Or else you, as my sister said yesterday, I don't, I don't, I don't know that. Or else you will be forever regretting why was I born into this world. I get to announce to you, you are born for a reason. What is that reason? To do the will of God. Every other thing on earth here, without fulfilling what the Lord has sent you to do, you are on your way to hell. And I pray, Lord, help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, uh, Amen. Chapter 3, 8 to 14. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing that one day, in, one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not that concerning his promises, he promised, as some men slack, can slack men, but is long suffering to us world, not willing that you and I should perish. But that all should come to repentance. I don't know this senior committee. It tell me Anna in the time of repentance. Repent now before it is too late. After we are gone, your repentance need, need nothing. You cannot even repent again. <laughs> Let me remind you again. Verse 9, verse 10. But the Lord, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also are the works. You that will remain, the earth are the works. You, your car, your houses that is not making to serve God now. I must finish my fifth duty before I serve God, no problem. That the last land I just bought, I must develop it, no problem. He said, I should remind you now. Both your house and uh, you will be burnt up. Mm. The earth also and the works that are there shall be burnt up. Level. See then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of person ought ye to be in all? Holy conversation and godliness. What manner of person are we ought to, are we ought to be now? It's that we are not in the time of righteousness and holiness, because those things you are fighting for, those things that we are like to serve God now, will be melt away, and you will melt up with them if you remain on earth here. Verse thirteen. Nevertheless. Nevertheless, the best one, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God. Then with the heavens be on fire, the first and second level. The heavens be on fire, shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. No when candle is melting. When it's melting, it will melt on whatever you place it. Remember, heaven is up there. When it's melting, it will melt on you. You there's on earth after you have fled away. When the heavens and the elements are melting, it will melt a scandal. All the liquid will melt upon as many that will not hurt you. And that melting was will melt you away too. Hey. Father, have mercy. I pray we all shall fly away in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Nevertheless, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heaven and a new earth where we dwell in righteousness. And if, if you are living in sin, you have no place on earth anymore. When Christ shall come and reign on earth for one thousand years, you have no place in heaven. Heaven and earth will melt away. The Lord will create everything again. He will make everything new. And if you are not ready for it, you will not be a part of it. Therefore, beloved, fourteen, see that you look for something. Be diligent that he may be found of him in peace, without spots 
and blameless. Be what? Be diligent. Be careful. Be watchful. Let us be prayerful. Let us strive to be holy. Let us strive to be righteous. Say, be ye holy. Holiness is possible. God will never tell me to do what he knows I cannot do. If holiness was not possible, he would not command you to, to, to be holy. He commanded you to be holy because he knows it's possible. Let us strive to be holy. How do we strive? By hiding ourselves in him. To part depend on him. What is holiness? Holiness is living what you ought to do and doing what God says you should do. Living what will please you and do what pleases God. Forsaking your joy and doing what will give God joy. That is holiness. And I pray the Lord help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. To everything on earth, to everything on earth, there is season and time to every purpose under the sun. Ecclesiastes chapter one. The time and the season are uh, the time for Jesus Christ to be glorified. I know He has been glorified, but this time around is the time for His world, the most world, the, the, the greatest prophecy in prophesy to be manifested. What is that rapture? If rapture does not take place, that means Christ was never Christ. He said, I am coming. He is coming now. My question is this. How prepared are we? How prepared are we? Praise Master Jesus. How uh, we are. Yeah. Corinthians chapter 7, 29 to 32. 1 Corinthians 7, 29 to 31 rather. But this I say therefore, since we know everything has time and season. But this I say therefore, the time is short. It's the minute that both that both they that have wives be as though they have none. The time is short. Those that have wives should live as if they don't have wife anymore. Verse 30. And they that weep, as though they weep not. And they that rejoice, and though they rejoice not. And they that buy, and though they possess not. Verse 31. And they that use this world, as not abusing it. For the fashion of this world pass set away. Whatever you are doing now, be careful. Don't allow marriage to send to hell. Don't allow the pain you are going through to send to hell. It is because I am poor. That's why I cannot serve God. There are poor people here. The Lord will not judge you because you are poor. He will not tell you come to heaven because on earth you are poor. If you are poor on earth and you will be seeing you, go to hell. More poverty is waiting for you. So whatever we are doing now, take your mind away from it and place your mind in holiness and righteousness. How to please the Lord. If I want to please my wife so that she will not be angry. You believe in the sin to please your wife? Mm. Don't do it anymore. I pray the Lord grant us understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So to yourself in righteousness now. Sister Yeti. So to yourself in righteousness. Reap in mercy. Break up your fallow ground. It is time to seek the Lord till He come and rain righteousness upon us. Break up your fallow ground. You don't know what to do. You are not doing it. Your ground is being is fallow. Break it up now. Begin to plant now. Are you an evangelist? Please run and be doing it now. You are so lazy. Wake up now from your laziness. You are sleeping. Wake up from your slumber now. It's time to sow in righteousness and in holiness. Because in this time, we shall reap in joy. 
praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. I want to say the time is always so. I read one more and I close with that enough, enough is enough. Romans 12, Romans 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, Romans 13, 11. And that knowing the time, and now is high time to awake out of sleep. Now is high time. For you and I to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Jesus Christ is coming now. Let us get up from our slumber, from our sleep. Let us go back to our duty post. Let us go back to what the Lord has asked us to be doing. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us wake up now. Romans 13 verse 11. Let us wake up and face reality. In no distant time, you will see me no more. Some people will see you no more. But if after that time, you are still sitting on earth here, you will be illegal on earth. Every illegal occupant of earth will face the wrath of the devil. What do we do? It's time of solemn assembly. It's time to walk circumspectly, not as fools anymore. The days of foolishness is over. It's time to apply our head unto wisdom. I pray the Lord will help me, will help you, help every one of us to get prepared for that great event, unexpected event, rapture. May the Lord bless his word in my heart, in your heart, in our heart, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. You are there, you are not born again. Please, do something this morning. Because the days are getting over. Say after me, if you want to embrace God this morning, if you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, say, Lord Jesus, I've heard your word. You have just told me about the time and days. The time I am now, it will surrender to you. I've been living a wasteful life. I've been working for the devil before now. But I'm tired of living such a life. Jesus, you died to forgive me of my sin. You resurrected for my justification. Wash me clean with your blood. Take my name away from the book of death. And write it in the book of life. I renounce and denounce Satan and his works from now on. I accept you, Lord Jesus Christ, as my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my life and dwell in me. I receive the power to go and see no more. For I am born again today. All things are passed away. And all things have become new. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for dying to save me. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for sending this word my way. Thank you, Almighty God, for allowing your only begotten Son to come and die for me. In Jesus' mighty name. Uh, Amen. Amen. I pray with you if you have delivered this. Father, I thank you for this word. Thank you for your word. I have delivered us so this morning. I pray, O oh God, that you grant this one to be great and pass trouble to stand at the end of time. Father, help us to be watchful, prayerful, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you because I know the last day your grace and mercy is sent to your kingdom in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray. Yeah. And ask the Lord to take away every higher type of foolishness from you. Understanding times and days. Grant me the understanding to know what to do at every given time. Father, help me to make every second meaningful to you. Help me to make every second of my life from now on meaningful to you. Help me never to be wasteful again. Open your mouth and pray. Help me Lord, in the name of never Jesus. to be wasteful again. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Yes, Jesus, so to the time. So solemnly, to apply my heart to wisdom. I do. 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 Jesus help me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, 